Hello viewers, welcome today to a session on the inventory module in BTiger CRM. Uh, if you have any questions during the demo, please press on the comment section and please do share your comments. So we'll start with the first step where a uh, shop floor executive or a person in the uh, production unit uh, sends a request to the uh, production head or you know the finance department or the concerned person on his requisition for the raw materials he requires. So we use the sales order entity in the inventory system. So they can create a requisition using the sales order. The sales order can be renamed as well. So you can see here they have requested this and they have sent this for approval. So when you create it uh, and uh, based on some condition, this approval can be done based on the stage or as soon as it's created, it can send it to the approval. Now once they do that, you can see that an email comes to the person who's going to approve. In this case, I made myself as the approval. So I get an email, I can approve directly from here. I can see what is the sales order they want or the requisition that they want or I can approve it from here as well on this. I can see some details about what they've asked. So you can see this is the details uh, that they asked. This is the note they asked on the approval. So I can approve or reject or whatever. I can also see the code. So if you see, they can attach the code what they received from the vendor in the document section, either as a Google Doc or direct attachment. So now I see this is fine. So I can approve it or I can reject it or I can cancel it. So let me approve it. So once I approve, I can Looks good. Okay, and I can also check the status before approving. If I want, I can check what is the quantity in the stock. Later in the demo, I'll be showing that as well. And then I click approve. And you can see that the approval goes through. And when it's approved, do a word to the request person that your requisition is approved. You can see it's put on here. Once the approval is received from the Department of Health, the purchase department or the finance department can create a purchase order. So when they click on the purchase order, they come to this purchase order screen. Here I've ready-madely created this purchase order. So based on that approval, they can create here. What you can also see is you can directly create a purchase order directly from the requisition. So, so if you see over here, the sales order which was created by the production team, you have an option to Order over here, you would see that this uh, requisition is converted into a uh, purchase order. So you can see automatically the nine items have added over here what the requisition has been done. So now for the benefit of this demo, I'm going into a purchase order which has already been converted. So let me show you how the purchase order looks like. So this is the purchase order which is created by the uh, purchase team. And then this purchase order, once it is created, it can be sent to the uh, vendor. So here if you see you created a test vendor and uh, it can be directly sent by clicking on this button. Uh, it shows you a screen where you can email it with the PDF or save it as a PDF on your screen. You can view the purchase order over here. You can directly email it and send it across to the vendor from here. So now once the vendor receives that, then they uh, send you a performer invoice. Uh, you can attach that performer invoice in this document as a Google Doc or directly. Above. Then payments, advanced payment, what the purchase department or the finance department, you can track it over here on what date, what you're paid. And once they get that, they do the shipment of the uh, product to you. So once they ship the, uh, you know, the raw materials of the product, what you call. Now here, your QC team, the quality control team can come see the material. And after they feel that the material is good, they can go ahead and create a receipt note. So in the receipt note, they can put their quality control comments, whatever. So once they put the receipt note and make that receipt note as accepted, then this status converts as delivered. And then you would see that the inventory stock goes up automatically over here. Now, one of the shop floor engineers would like to intend to get a material for his manufacturing. So again, they can use the same entity sales order. You can, if you want, you can rename as uh, uh, indent. Uh, and here he or she creates this uh, indent what they want so you can see that uh, he has created he needs four quantity of this raw material and uh, details of which uh, you can see uh, in this detail section uh, he has added the same thing over here uh, what he needs uh, if you want you can put an approval system also on this let's say it's it's getting approved by the shop floor manager uh, you can put an approval now this indent once that is approved or when he creates on based on the stage change a notification can be sent to the inventory person. Now he goes to the inventory person. Now the inventory person uh, gives this material to the shop floor engineer and then he creates a delivery note. You can see he created a delivery note. So in the delivery note, you can say he has given this uh, material to that person. You can see more details about the delivery note. You can see he has given 
the delivery note. Details of the delivery note are here. You can see the status is delivered. Once that is delivered to the shop floor engineer, you can see the quantity automatically gets reduced in your inventory. Hi viewers, I hope you've been able to get all these concepts. Uh, so if you have any feedback, if you don't have a question, uh, or you like something in this demo, please do put it on the comment. We'll be happy to listen to your comments. All right, so now once the finished good is over, finished goods uh, in an organization can be tracked as assets. So these are the details what you can see in assets. So what is the asset uh, name, the serial number, okay, from when this service is going to start, uh, you know, the warranty or what do you call, when this was sold, this asset. And here you can also track there's a shipping method. So for what purpose are you using this? Is it for sales or is it for demo or are you sending it for as a subscription or what are kind of type of, you know, sale which you want to do with this asset that can be tracked over here. So whom is this asset sold? You can see that is also linked over here. So that's about how you can manage finished goods in the retired CRM. So now once the finished good is ready, you heard before that itself, the salespeople sell this product to the customers. Either they sell it for uh, as a sale or on a subscription model or a different kind of model. Now how you track the sales cycle is using deals in the retired CRM. Deals has stages, you can see there are different stages. You can create custom stages as you want. Right now we put the stage as custom demo. So while giving the demo, you would like to know where the demo is. So I show the location, the duration of the demo, how long you want. And then you have some details about uh, this particular deal as well. The detail deal can be carried out here. What is the amount of the deal? Uh, you know, what is the stage? Uh, and then you can track these details. And then what is the, um, product that you're selling. So you can see over here, here gives the product uh, code. And here you can also see what is the bundled uh, uh, product along with them. So this is how you can track uh, a bundled product and then the finished good uh, product number uh, and what is the price at which you are uh, you know, selling to the customer. So, and then you can also see you have expected close dates. So that is expected close date of when you're closing this deal or when you're going to uh, you know, close this subscription. These dates are available over here. You can track this. This is that place where you can track the detail. So that's about how you track the sales stages in the VTiger CRM. So now once you completed the uh, demo with the customer, uh, now the next step is uh, you give proposal to the customer, which is quotations in the deal, and then take it to the closure. So once you close it, you can change the status of the deal to closed one. Now when you closed one, the deal, what you can do is, so depending on the type of the deal, whether the deal is going to be a sale or it is going to be a subscription model, you can update those details in the deal information. We can give you different po po pockets of placeholders to put that. Uh, now, let's say, for example, if this is going to be a subscription, then you can cut this deal into a subscription diagram here. So you can see that you have subscriptions here. You click on that. Now, this will get converted into a subscription. Now, in subscription, you can put a subject when the subscription starts, when it ends, or if there's no ex expiry. And then what is the frequency of your uh, you know subscription you can put the detail and your payment details what is your net payment and the mode of payment you know it's manual or if you're using a payment gateway we can link payment gateways also we can put that now the advantage of subscription is automatically an invoice get generated on that particular uh, period of the uh, uh, subscription so that is the advantage of using the subscription so with the subscription you will know that all the kind of customer when the renewal is there you can run a whole lot of report you will also get alerts on these now next is after you sold the product you know the deal then you want to track what asset you have sold so you can see if you go to a customer's view so this is a 360 view degree view of the customer and in that if you go to the assets part you know you can see what are all the assets which the customer has procured from you and you want to see a little more about the detail the key fields appears over here you want some more detail you click here it opens up in the new page here you can see more details about the asset so you can see these are all the details what you have over there the serial number of that okay you can see over here this is the uh, the what you call the bundled pro products serial number this is the serial number of the uh, you know the main product so you can track all these you can create placeholders for all that you can track all that 
Now, the agreement, whatever you are doing with the customer, you know, the customer's agreement that you are doing, you can put it in documents over here. So, you can take this document section, add anything that you have in a subscription agreement or a sale agreement or the PO what you receive from the customer, you can upload it here. And you can always slice and dice and see this information as reports. The reports also can be scheduled and sent your email on a weekly or a periodical basis. So, that's how the inventory module works. Enjoy this demo. Have a great day. Bye.